Hello Libra, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Sila V. I'm going to do a reading for you guys for the mid-month here of July. Uh, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on with your energy and your space. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And let's get started. Uh, let me fix that. Alright, so let's get started. Let's see what spirit has for my Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Sign. Who is running from you? Someone is running. Why are you running? Why are you running? All right, there's another card under there. Okay, wow. So someone is running and avoiding you here. Um, yeah, like running from this connection or it could be you. Someone is ghosting or someone. It feels like someone's invisible. It's like one minute they're there and one minute it's like poof, they're gone blocking some people have blocked this individual all right um it's like every time you get close or every time things are going to go to a solid energy it's like someone just keeps pushing this love or this connection away or you guys have a decision to make here and you guys may be avoiding the decision running away from the decision not sure what to do but i feel more so like someone's running Who's running? Like running, running, running. Hmm, I need to go running. But someone is definitely running here. Um, wow, that was like super quick. All right, let's see what else we have here. One more, please, spirit, for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. My Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus signs, spirit. Oh, something wanted to jump out. Oh roaming wild free spirit someone's taking risk okay and you guys may be at a distant all right distance all right so you guys may live quite a ways from each other here um and i feel like someone is honestly running roaming wild um not really sure where to go taking risk at this time and it may be you right now traveling um running away let's see what spirit has to say this is so interesting um i feel like someone is like running away from home like running away from a place of love and then still feeling lost whoever has ghost you libra or whoever you ghost right i feel like i get this energy of wanting to come home no, Michael Bublé sings that song. I want to come home. I'm hearing I want to come home, but for some reason, this person is still running. I feel like they're possibly having some sort of um, obligation or uh, some sort of responsibility here where they're not able to come back. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let me actually get an oracle card. Let me get an oracle card on this. We have attachment at the bottom of the deck. So I get an energy of someone still being attached and having anxiety here. You guys may be dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn just kept on getting that card, right? But I get an energy of attachment here, still holding on to um, some sort of energy. Someone's still possibly thinking about you, holding on to this connection, but running from it and avoiding it and blocking it and not wanting to face it like fear, and I feel like also this may be someone still trapped in some sort of addiction, right? And we have the anxiety card here, okay? Someone maybe, yeah. And we have contract. Someone may be still in a marriage or still in a relationship that they're trying to come out of here. That's for some. Libra. I feel like you guys just want balance here. Um, with this situation, I feel like you may be dealing with someone that may be addicted to something, right? Addicted to some... I mean, look at her eyes. Someone is slightly addicted to something. I don't know if I should say slightly, but someone's addicted to something here, right? Self-medicating or something of that sort and possibly afraid to reveal that or, a feel, or afraid to tell you exactly what they're thinking and, and what they're going through and how they're afraid to love you. Or you could be dealing with someone that's still trapped in another relationship. Look how her hand is tied. Still trapped. And they're honestly trying to um, buckle up and get the strength to come out of it. But I feel like they're scared. I feel like someone is very scared here. Alright. 
someone is truly scared of something possibly running from this relationship running from the idea that um you know that this is love <laughs> you know that this is true love and and they possibly have to open up and express to you how they feel and and the emotions that lie within and they're afraid to do that they're afraid to open up because of their past someone's afraid to open up here and they prefer to just run they constantly pushing you away yeah but i feel like libra you're honestly you're honestly just moving away from this energy i feel i feel like you're at a point where it's like all i can do is move on some of you guys may be moving literally or traveling making a decision to move and that may be what you're actually running from right this decision to move on this decision to move to a different country or a different state or a different place and i feel like someone is highly working on their finances gaining strength again here wow i feel like there was a lot of pain oh wow okay so there's a lot of secrets here um could be dealing with a pisces leo right capricorn taurus virgo yeah, I'm getting that someone is honestly working on their money, working on their finance, finances, trying to honestly gain the strength here to remove themselves out of a um, bind, I'm hearing. I feel like this relationship had a lot of secrets. Someone is hiding how they truly feel. Someone is hiding how they truly miss you, right? Someone is honestly hiding how they truly miss you or hiding another relationship here. It's like all illusions. I feel like for some of you guys, someone is upset that you um, turned your back on them after they ghosted you. They're possibly upset with you or coming off as if they're upset with you, right? Because you decide to turn your back on a situation after they ghosted you. Like after you left me, I blocked you or after you ghosted me for someone else or whatever the story case is I decided to move on with my life here I decided to um, go for what's best for me here because this constantly had secrets I feel like this person just would not open up and truly reveal what was going on and they would try to mask that with like working and they would bury themselves into work or this person has some sort of responsibility in another relationship. Yeah. I feel like someone here is feeling very broken about the separation. And I feel like Libras, if you guys walked away from something, I literally feel like you did not want to leave the situation. However, you were left with no choice. You were left with no choice because you were constantly going back and forth and um, not dealing with someone that was opening up. I feel like this person continuously would escape or push you away whenever you would try to figure out what the issue was. And I feel like this person was still attached to something, still attached to some sort of substance or attached to some sort of lifestyle or attached to someone. But whatever the case is, I feel like after you left, this person literally fell into a place of darkness where they were feeling empty, lost, scared. And I feel like they're, they're trying to hide this. They're trying to hide this. But it's like every time you would try to speak to this person, this person would try to go around would try to go around it and you just wanted balance you just wanted fairness two more please spirit for the sign of libra sun moon venus sign you just honestly wanted fairness is what i'm hearing i don't know what that was yeah i feel like this person's acting a lot there's an energy of like you know putting on an image right putting on an image to people around them right being closed off I feel like this person honestly is just in a place of fear. And while they're at work or while they're around their friends, I feel like they're putting on this image of everything is okay. Everything is great. I'm fine. 
but deep down I feel like this person is honestly just lost and still trying to like I, I if, if they could speak something with their throat chakra I'm over here going crazy <laughs> with my words this person literally if they can open up and truly tell you how they feel it would be like it would be the craziest moment I feel like this person has issues expressing their soul expressing their true feelings and what they truly feel and what they truly fear as well and what they do is they run they sabotage they just sabotage and I feel like Libra you're just at a place where you're like I love you but we're not communicating I feel like you may not even be speaking to this person and I feel like for some uh, this person could have been in another relationship I feel like for some this person has a very guarded personality like they allow their ego to control a lot of their um actions you know you know I I feel like I feel like there was so much pain here and you tried to work on this relationship. You honestly tried to give this relationship another chance, but this person kept on holding back. It's like every time you would go back in and try to work things out and try to talk to this person, it's like they would hold back. And I feel like someone here is really trying to get out of something. They're trying to leave. They're trying to escape. Either a relationship that's not working. That's for some, right? A relationship that's not working. I keep seeing the Eight of Wands here, but it's not really popping out. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, Empress. Yeah, I feel like this person couldn't make a decision. See, I feel like this person possibly in the past, right? They came in, they offered you love. They offered you uh, this Four of Wands. They wanted something serious, right? But I feel like they didn't even feel secure in what they were offering you. For some of you guys, you may be um, pregnant for this person or going to be pregnant for this person. Or, yeah, or had a child with this person. Good news, right? But I feel like there was like, there's this... I feel like this person's just honestly going with the flow and not really putting in their true efforts. I don't feel like they're doing anything. I don't feel like they're doing anything at this time. It's like they're not moving. They're 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 expressing how they feel and they're saying great things with their words and and all of that. And they have a lot of emotions, but their actions aren't lining up with it. It's like one minute they want you and one minute they're turning their back here and I feel like this person honestly wants to come back to you if you guys are in a separation this person wants to come back to you but I feel like they've hurt you so much they've literally hurt you so much and this is something that constantly stays on their mind because they want to express how they feel and they want to express how much they want to be with you but they don't know how to they don't know what to say and Libra, I feel like right now you guys are literally living your best life. You're just free-spirited at this time. Some of you guys may be buying a home or buying something new, right? <laughs> and not even telling anybody. I think you guys are not even telling anybody like your plans. You're just like, I'm just going to do me right now. I'm going to travel. I'm going to stay positive. I love this person, but... This is out of my hands at this time. I, I can't play with, I can't play these games anymore. I really can't. Yeah. So I feel like right now, oh gosh, this person wants to give you an offer, but it's like they're, they're now they're afraid of rejection. It's like one, they're afraid of the relationship. They're afraid of rejection. Um, they're not sure what to do, honestly. And they know that this will be like maybe their third attempt here, right? Their third attempt. But it's like, Libra, I feel like you are in a place where you're skeptical. You're trying to figure out, is there more secrets? Like, can we really work this out? Will you 
open up? Are you willing to open up here? And I feel like this person is, is sabotaging this relationship. And they're possibly in a place where they can't even give you what you deserve because they still have a lot of secrets that you're not aware of. And I feel like Libras, let me, let me see what Libras are doing right now. Let me just remove this. Put this over here. Yeah, I feel like, oh, yeah, I'm going to leave that there though. All right. Uh, Spirit, what is my Libras up to right now at this time? My Libras up to? What's my Libras up to at this time? Neighbors need to know. Oh, wow. Four of Cups. You guys are serious, huh? <laughs> you guys are really not opening up to this person anymore at this time. I feel like Libras, you're at a place where you're just like, I'm no longer doing anything. Like, I've, I've done my part. This person possibly really hurt you. And it's like, I'm not doing anything anymore. Like, I'm so literally so tired of the games. I'm so tired of the back and forth. Like, I'm drained. I'm so drained. I've put so much energy into this and I'm literally drained now. And it's like, look, uh, this person comes in. If you could see that hand here. Oh, could you see it? I feel like that person's coming in to offer you that cup here and you're just pushing it to the side. You're like, eh, you could have your cup. I don't want it. I don't want that thing. You know, that's what that's kind of like what I'm what I'm hearing. Or you guys may be getting offers from people and you're just, you know, saying, yeah, you're not who I want. I'm still waiting on my person. I'm still waiting on my lover. I'm not really worried about you. You know, take it how it resonates. This could be your person, too. Still trying to figure out how to get out of a relationship and just pushing someone's offer away. Take it how it seriously resonates, okay? But I feel like someone is just tired and someone needs to make a decision here. Like offers are coming in towards your person. Offers are coming in for you. And you're just like, eh. Knight of Wands. Yeah, really going after what you deserve at this time. Fire energy. Going after what you deserve. Mm, there's a lot of passion here. Going after what you deserve. What else is my Libra's up to? Yeah, I feel like you guys are honestly just taking a break on love right now. Like it's 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 enough. It's um and not not that you guys have an issue with love. It's just more so like just taking a break and not really focusing on it as much anymore because it's like I literally have to look towards my happiness. Like I need to be more stable at work. I need to be more stable in my finances. I need to be stable within. So I'm just going to put a pause on this. Whatever this person wants to do, you know, that's on them. Um, but I've I've done enough. Like, I've literally waited enough, right? Seven of Wands. Yeah. Just really protecting yourself, protecting your soul. Uh, a lot. I see a lot of you guys doing a lot of inner work on yourself. One more, please, Spirit. Just working on yourself. And this person knows that. And I feel like this person knows that you've changed. Just, just by the way that you didn't chase this person. Just by the way. Like, this person knows that you love them. But I know that, see five of pentacles this person knows that you love them and they know that they've hurt you they know this they understand that and they feel this they know it because they know you right they know that you are in tune with what's going on like you're not a fool right they understand that but they know that this also has brought a transition and that's why they're moving so slow not sure what to say not sure how to express themselves so you know, they're focused on money, possibly always focused on money, right? And now they want to talk, trying to see like, how can, how can I, how, maybe, maybe I should send them an email. Maybe I should send them a text. Like which, what love offer, you know, should I uh, offer them this time? You know, like this person wants to talk to you, but they just don't know how to. And the chariot here, I'm moving on. 
so many secrets. Oh, this person's trying to come to you. This person really honestly wants to come to you. But I feel like this person's just allowing the universe to work. It's like, like, I feel like there's so much free will here in a sense where it's like one day I want to go to my Libra and one day I, I can't or I, I won't. But this is all in my mind, right? With the Pisces here. It's like someone wants to, I feel like they, they actually dream about you too is what I'm hearing. Or you dream about them. But either way here, I feel like, and for some of you guys, unexpectedly, this person may just pop up and send you a message, right? Or you may actually um, hear from them, right? Or they may travel to come see you. But I feel like there's a secret here with moving, right? Some, some of you guys have like a moving idea where you just want to move and you're not telling anyone. But either way here, I feel like someone is thinking about moving. Someone's thinking about actually taking action. There's an action that's going to be taken here and it's not being spoken about, right? Someone's not talking about it. Yeah, someone's not talking. You guys could be dealing with a cancer. Let's get an oracle card on here. Actually, I want to pull out a moon card. Let's do one of these, actually. Yeah, this person's trying to come towards you, but there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear, though. Some fear here. All right. What do we have? We have expect powerful change. All right. Expect powerful change, guys. And we have communication is key. Communication is key, right? And I feel like this person's understanding that now. They're understanding that without communication, without opening up, this relationship will go nowhere. Sorry, my nail. This relationship will go nowhere. How are we going to um, expect some sort of change within our relationship if we're not communicating, right? You guys could have been dealing with a Gemini here, moon, new moon in Gemini, or dealing with somebody that has a moon in Gemini, right? But either way, it's very important for you guys to communicate because I feel like there's like this, um, n you know, issue here of avoiding and running and not really addressing the problem or addressing um, this love and just allowing it to just fall apart and really decompose and just, you know, disappear, right? And this is all because of lack of communication, lack of honesty, lack of transparency, like no, someone's not being transparent here. So once communication kicks in, um, expecting a powerful change, right? But I feel like this person knows that the energy that they have to bring now is completely different. It's just very different because this long break that, you know, some of you guys had, it just brought a lot of um, realizations and it brought a lot of um, self-love, okay? And honestly, sitting in a place where you're constantly dealing with somebody that wants to run and ghost is something that you're really not going to deal with any longer, okay? It's either committed, serious, stable, or... Um, it's it's nothing at all right so i will talk to you guys soon thank you so much i hope you enjoyed your reading like share and subscribe and i will be back soon bye